uh, Amanda can't go riding in the dirt without hurting herself. It's evidently a rule. Oh my god. Uh. I was going downhill and I got distracted by this truck on the side of the road and I wasn't wasn't paying attention. Wasn't paying attention. I hit a really deep washout. I don't know how deep it was because I smacked it and that's how I knew it was there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see in the helmet cam footage. I, my hand went all the way back. I can't do it right now. It hurts, it hurts a lot. It hurts, it hurts a lot, lot, lot. <laughs> uh, anyway, I rode for a little bit and when I got to this hill and tried to throttle on, I couldn't, I couldn't. Conveniently pulled up to this stream here and I put my wrist underneath of it and it feels really good because it's really cold. I, did I mention that I took two ibuprofen? I think my plan is to take the ace bandage out of my first aid kit and soak it in some cold water and wrap it around my wrist uh, and give it a minute and hope that I can ride the rest of the way out of here. Oh my god, it hurts a lot. Uh, uh. <laughs> Not sterile no more. Oh good, it's the one with the metal clips. This will be fun. Just so everybody knows, I... I'm not left-handed, and I f***ed up my right hand. I'm trying not to think about how I'm going to finish my commissions if I actually f***ed up my wrist. I'm not going to think about it. Okay, let's go get some water. Our bandage is wet now. Oh, oh, since it's wet, it's kind of like sticking to my skin a little bit. That's helpful. For the record, I know that I'm not wrapping it right. Let's just do the thumb. Let's just, oh, do the thumb just to be safe. That's an interesting feeling. Oh, okay, one time was enough. One time is enough. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you will notice the pattern that Amanda likes to talk to herself when things get difficult. It's a coping mechanism. Maybe we should, who should we blame that on? Maybe we should blame my mom on that. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds like something my mom would do. Hi mom, I love you. <laughs> oh, I mean that feels better. I mean, it doesn't feel great, but better, better is a good thing. Oh my God. God, and I have this giant hill to do next. Do you see this hill? <laughs> I hope that there isn't a ton of that to go, so. Also, I really hope that the ibuprofen kicks in really soon. That'd be cool. Oh, I hope this isn't gonna cut off circulation to my fingers. Fine, fine. Come on. Come on now. Just don't do it so tight this time. Don't want to lose circulation. Don't want to do that. And of course my battery's going to die, so... Yep. Come on. 
Okay, it's on. It's on. Since my camera died, this is how we're going to um, catch up with this story, okay? So I went for another 20, 30 minutes um, since the last footage that you saw, crying in my helmet the whole time. And I came upon three side-by-sides setting up camp, and I just needed water because I ran out. And the guy saw that I was crying and was like, is everything okay? And I'm like... Yeah, totally fine. And he gave me the water bottle and I was like, F now I have to open it. And I opened it by like pushing it against my body with my wrist and opening it with my left hand. He's like, is there something wrong with your arm? And I'm like, I kind of bent my wrist back all the way. And the other guy was like, well, do you want me to text anybody for you? So I got them to text my mom that I would meet them at Lolo. And then Gary could ride the the bike the rest of the way to the house. So he texted her that and then they started kind of talking amongst each other about not feeling good about letting me ride the rest of the way because it's getting dark. But I knew this road, 107, was coming up real soon. Like I knew that it was within the next 10 miles. Sat there and chatted with them for a little bit and they have decided that they're going to follow me all the way down to make sure that I get there. And they retexted my mom to see if they can meet me at Locksaw lodge. Long story short, Amanda dragging strangers into her shit. Always. I promised them that I would wait at the turn until I got here. So I'll catch up with you at the next point in this journey. And then when I get to my mom, I'll have mom text him so you guys know that I'm safe. Okay. Most definitely. Sounds Please. perfect. Thank you guys so much. You're very well, well. Thank you. And that yeah. was you know what? Honestly, this is just what you do and return the favor to somebody else. Someday. There you go. That's all we ask. Mm -hmm. filming on my phone. So catching up from the last part where we were in the story, you know, I seem to always find really great people when I need help. I had to sleep with an ice pack on it all night. I woke up and just in tears, kind of went back and forth about it and eventually I went with my mom into town to go to urgent care and he told me that I broke my uh, navicular bone or the scaphoid um, which is this little bone inside the little hollow under your thumb. It sucks. A lot. And my hand is like super swollen. You can like see it. been a little bit over a week. I called a bunch of orthopedic doctors and they had to retake my x-rays and I got to see for the first time 
the very clear white line of the fracture of my navicular bone. So he let me know that I'm going to be in this lovely cast for two months. I have to go back in and talk to him in four weeks for them to decide whether or not I'm going to need a screw based on if the bone is growing or not. A lot of people have been messaging me and I really appreciate all the support that like people on Instagram have been giving me and on Facebook. I really love everybody's comments about like, oh man, like if I couldn't ride for that long, I'd just be going crazy and I am honestly more upset about not being able to draw. I had to give up a really, really big commission, which I'm really upset about, but also drawing is such a really big part of my life and not being able to draw is really terrible. <laughs> anyway, that's where we're at right now. Everything works out in the end. Even if she ends up getting hauled, you got a broken wrist, still in one piece. <laughs> I did the gnarly things. Yay, mountains. You did the Harley things when it crashed? I, no, I didn't. <laughs> I was very careful. <laughs> the reason your camera's it's, still on? Because I'm documenting. <laughs> She's documenting everything that happened.